I am Anil Kumar and here is a very simple explanation for area model to multiply fractions. The question here is write multiplication sentence modeled by the shaded region in each rectangle. So we have two rectangles here. You need to write fractions, I should say product of fractions to represent the shaded region, right? I'll do part A and leave part B for you. Okay, let us understand what fractions are and then we will answer the question. Fractions, as you know, is part over whole, right? This is the basic definition, right? So that is what fractions are. And what is area? Area, you can say, is rows times columns. So rows times columns is area. So what we understand is two things. Fractions are part of whole thing and area is rows and columns. So to write this shaded region as multiplication sentence, we need to know how many rows have been shaded out of total number of rows times how many columns are shaded out of total number of columns. Do you see that? So here, what is this portion? There are two rows, right? So we have two rows, that is two, out of one, two, three. Do you see that? So two out of three. So these are the rows. Two out of three are shaded. Therefore, width of this shaded portion is two out of three. Do you see that? Two of three are shaded. Right? Now, what is the length of this shaded region? We'll multiply the two to get area, right? One, two, three, four are shaded out of one, two, three, four, five, correct? So that is what we get. Four out of five are shaded. So that becomes the width, and this becomes, let me write like this, the length, right? So this is the width for us, and this is the length. And area is product of these two. Now, third thing which you have to find is what fraction is shaded. Now, how many rectangles are shaded? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight are shaded out of how many? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So eight out of fifteen. Do you get it? So that is the area of this rectangle. And therefore, the portion shaded out of the whole is eight out of fifteen. Correct? And that gives us the multiplication sentence which I'll rewrite which is 2 out of 3 times 4 out of 5 is equals to 8 out of 15. So when we multiply, we multiply numerators together 4 times 2 is 8 and denominators together 3 times 5 is 15. Sometimes these can be simplified and written in lowest terms, correct? So that is the whole process. You can now pause the video, find out the multiplication sentence to model the shaded region here in the next rectangle. Here is how you will do it. Let's quickly go through it. So let's find the width of the shaded portion in fraction part over whole so one two three let me use a different ink this time so three out of four right so this is three out of four correct how about the other side which will say is the length is two out of three right so it is two over three area is product of length and width so we get for this three out of 4 
times 2 out of 3. Now to write multiplication sentence, we have to find product. <coughs> so what is this area? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 rectangles are shaded out of total of 3 times 4, which is 12, right? So you could multiply total number of rows with total number of columns to get the number in the denominator or you can count all these rectangles, correct? So 6 out of 12. So that becomes the multiplication sentence to model the given shaded region of the rectangle. I hope the concept is clear to you. So just two things to remember. What are fractions? Fractions are part of whole. And what is area? Area is rows times columns, correct? So write each side as part of whole. Multiply them to get the area, correct? So what we learned here is area is rows shaded time column shaded right so that is what we learn and rows I should say fraction of rows right so let's say fraction of rows shaded times fraction of columns shaded right that gives you the area and the sentence written as product of these two is equal to something and that something is product of numerators divided by product of denominators now remember in this particular case as I was saying earlier we can simplify we can divide both by six and so we get half right so we get half six when we divide this by six right and also this by six six divided by six is one twelve divided by six is two so we get half now uh, let me show you another thing if I replace that is to say if I take this and shade this portion for example and if I take this block from here and shade this portion then we would have shaded half of it do you see that so you can rearrange and see for yourself that half is been shaded so it is also equivalent to half. So the steps involved are to multiply, multiply numerator, then multiply denominators, right? And then you need to simplify to lowest terms so you can adopt these three steps to get the answer as we did in the second example I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this helps you to understand the concept thank you and all the best